This is a James Poe Artistry Consultant Moment. The IQ and Light with Happiness Part 2. Uh, what I want to uh, share with you is, first, have you ever heard of, uh, in the comic books, uh, Lex Luthor? Lex Luthor. Now, Lex Luthor was an arch enemy for Superman. Now, his IQ was known to be up in the 200s. What's so interesting is, I thought for sure over the years, I read that his IQ was in the thousands. And so it was like, okay, what is it? Is his IQ in the, two, in the hundreds or is it in the thousands? Well, this is what I want to tell you still about IQ. Uh IQ does uh, show you the show the ability for you to be able to learn anything uh, that that you want to learn and then pursue it to excellence. All right. And yet, see, there's a point where it really does become immeasurable because on one hand, uh, you can see in the comics the way they wrote certain things. He was still able to defeat. Even. Um. God-like beings, if you will, where you know their IQ was immeasurable or what have you, would still his only 200 and some IQ or what have you. Why? Because there's a certain level that humans get, get to. Well, no, it does. It just goes beyond simple physical measurements or this test or that test or what have you because it's what the individual personality is focusing on. See, personality and spirituality has a lot to do with that. So it doesn't matter how much, you know, persons can say, well, we put this on this person, we put this test on that person, we have it. So on one hand, this person failed miserably, but then on his other hand, why in the world is this person, you know, excelling in this way or that way? Well, I'm here to tell you again, because it boils down to the person's personality and focus and even spirituality. And these are certain matters at times where I say that's between that person and God. And so then it becomes, you know, uh, an overbearingness, uh, even really an arrogance to try to push, to push someone into this way or that way against their conscience, you see, just because they don't understand uh, this individual. You see, Lex Luthor, and, and, and I mention him for a reason, because I'm going to show you how they actually do that upon reasonably thinking persons at times to make something seem like it's either or, and really, guess what? It's actually really a mute point where it really doesn't matter this way or that way. Now you may say, what does this have to do with light and happiness? You see, well, first let me mention, once persons come to the conclusion about life and the way it functions and, uh, you know, by man-made systems and matrices and things of that nature, you really can't come to the conclusion that, you know what? If this is the way that life is functioning, and you're still telling me that there's a technology even higher than the technology that we have today to extend life on to forever. <laughs> See, I'm just using that word, uh, you know, loosely about technology because we're really talking about miracles of God. That you mean that we can live forever. Who wants to live? in a world, in a system, set up the way that we see it right now. See, and then that's where the feelings and thoughts come from. It's all meaningless. It's all worthless. It's, it's all a waste of time. But see, that's why I'm here to tell you that with the IQ and the light, there is still a happiness, and that's what I try to help you to see, that you know what is going to override that thinking that it's all 
meaningless. Because I'm going to address, as I've already given you some hints, why it feels like it's all meaningless at times. And it really does bore down to the thinking and the attitudes of some people. And these are some of the people that I told you have more of authority to control the matrices. How are we going to do that? Well, I mentioned Lex Luthor. See, that was a, a show, and I'm actually comparing several Supermans, okay, where I'm getting my information from. Uh, so, so you got to keep this in mind, just like I mentioned about Lex Luthor and his IQ, how, you know, sometimes they were making it sound like it was in the high hundreds, uh, and then sometimes it was in the thousands because of what he was able to do or whatever. Well, let me tell you, there was actually an episode. And sure, you know what? This is fictional comic books here. Okay, DC Comics, all right? We, we talked about this before, especially on the Spaceship Poetry. But all the same, it really does make its point because I've heard this type of reasoning, even used in circular reason, reasoning, where it basically gets into a phil philosophical view, where it's like, see, there, there's no solution or what have you. And I'm here to tell you again today, that sometimes if the item, if the question or the statement was made that there is no solution, guess what? It could have been a mute point in the first place where it didn't matter. And that's why I want to give you an example of one episode that was uh, Superman. And this was actually some years ago and it had something to do with Dean Kane when he played uh, the Superman. See, Lex Luthor with his high IQ you know, fully didn't really understand the the extent of Superman's powers or his caringness or love for humanity. So, with all his money, billionaire, you see, he did he took it upon himself that he just wanted to find out. 